Hey everyone, back again here for another full video drum lesson from drumsaword.com. Today I want to show you how to play the song Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison, drummed by Gary Chester, who uh, out of interest also wrote one of my favourite drum books, The New Breed, which I highly recommend if you really want to push your independence and your reading in fact. So then we go on to verse one and we've got our main drum beat throughout the song. And in researching um, uh, this song for this transcription today, um, I also checked out a couple of um, YouTubers, uh, uh, drum teachers, as well as drum covers um, who have taught this song. And everybody seems to think that Gary is playing this drum beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one with the two bass drums there falling on the and of two and the and of three in between the snare drums on two and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So after speed, this is what most people think is, is being played. But that's not the case. What Gary is actually playing is something else. He's playing basically that drum beat, but he's not playing the bass drum on the and of three. He's only playing one and two and three and one and two and three. So we don't get that bass drum on the and of three before snare, before the snare drum on four. One and two and three and one and two. It actually gives the rhythm more emphasis on the and of two. You're not swallowing it up with a bass drum on the and of three. It's just that one bass drum on the and of two. And then later in the song, he starts to accent that and of two with a right cymbal stab, as we'll see later on. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, the bass drum is so low in the mix, it's really hard to hear. I had to find a, um, a uh, acoustic version of this song. Basically, they turned down the vocals, so, I, uh, so there was even less uh, stuff going on so I could really focus on the drums. And even then, it's so hard to hear the bass drum. I am pretty sure that he does include that variation, the variation that everyone thinks he seems to play, um, occasionally within the, in the bar. And this is what I recommend you do when you're playing and practicing this song, is that you want to play this drum beat more, the one that I've written, bar one here, one and two and three and four, because that's what he's playing most of the time. But to go with the melody, to go with the song, feel free to improvise and put in that extra bass drum note occasionally. So you might do something like... So I did there the last bar, sort of just to round it off, the, the four bar pattern or a two bar pattern. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure Gary does play that very occasionally in the song. It's very low in the mix, I can't be 100% sure. But this is the drum beat he plays most of the time. One and two and three. And one, two and three. So that's the, one, that's the bass shot, that's the pattern, sorry, I recommend you try and play throughout the song as written here. So, um, but do feel free to improvise with the other bar if you like. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> 